friends. Welcome to Miss Diane's Math Corner. Today we're going to be learning how to measure and talk about numbers. Several things on the table, and you may use some different things at your house, but I have some things to measure. I have a popsicle stick, a crayon, and a pop cleaner, and a pencil. Of course, I have a ruler. You may have a measuring tape at home to use. So we're going to practice numbers by measuring these items. You will need a pencil and a piece of paper and get mom to help you or you may write these items down yourself and then we're going to write the numbers as we measure. Okay my friends, which one do you think is the longest? If you said the pipe cleaner, you are correct. Let's see how long the pipe cleaner is. Okay, you see our number right here. It is ten and a half inches. This side is inches. So now, let's look at the pencil. You said that the pipe cleaner was longer, so the pencil is seven and a half. Which one of these, boys and girls, do you think is the shortest? If you said the crayon, you are correct. Let's measure the crayon. And the crayon is three inches, a little more than three inches. So, if we put them together, you can see that you were right. The crayon is shorter than the popsicle stick. Let's measure the popsicle stick. Okay, it is five and a half. So, if you're doing this at home, you would write your measurements over here. So, we said the popsicle stick was five and a half, so we're going to write a five. And you're going to write each number for your measuring on your piece of paper. Also, on the table, I have other items that will have numbers on it. I have a clock so that you can tell time and you'll know when to get ready for school. And we have a calendar that has numbers on it so you'll know the dates of the month. In your classroom you may use a calculator. It has numbers on it and I bet at home each and every one of you have a remote for your TV. It also has numbers on it. And outside when you want to know the temperature you will have a thermometer to tell you how hot or how cold it is. And you also have a phone at your house with numbers. And there are some very important numbers that you need to know. And those numbers are 911. So if you need to call an emergency number, you would find 911. And then the emergency helpers will be on the phone with you. And remember, friends, 911 is only for emergency. It is not for playing. Remember, emergency only, friends. Thank you for joining me in my math learning class today. Have a great day.